his address. We're going to start by introducing the uh, cast and uh, uh, crew at the head table here. Pierre Buffin, artistic director in charge of visual effects. Buff. Olivier Del Bosque, Olivier Marc, Del Bosque, Bosque uh, Marc Missonnier, the producers for Fidelity, Ensuite, uh, sitting next to each other. Nathaniel Brown, comedian, Nathaniel Brown actor, Oscar, who played the part of Oscar, even if you didn't see his face. À sa droite, Gaspar Noé, réalisateur Gaspar Noé uh, the uh, director, uh, scriptwriter and producer. On his right, Paz de la Huerta, actress, Linda. Cyril Roy, Cyril Roy Alex. who uh, played the part of Alex. Vincent Marabel, production, international sales. We're going to start with the first question to Gaspar Noé, who has given us a film which is a sensory, a narrative, an emotional and visual experience. How did all this uh, come together on paper? How do you go about writing this kind of a film? Of course, you've had the project uh, mulling in your mind uh, for some years now. There have been several versions of the screenplay for this film. Things evolved in terms of the actual shape and general concept of the film. The first uh, version was written about 10 years ago and it didn't take place in Japan at all. It took place in India. I had thought of uh, using a small village in the Andes, but the basis of the film consisted in following the spirit of someone who had died. And then uh, the screenplay became richer, became richer and richer, more and more extensive. I thought of shooting the film in France and in the US. And as I traveled to Japan for several on several occasions, I thought of shooting the film there. And I decided to shoot the film indeed in uh, Tokyo. As I was based in, in France, uh, the screenplay was actually in English and then the the idea of shooting the film in Japan made it very complicated because of the tale. A special setup was required and uh, the price was very high. Even if it took a, a long time uh, to come out with the film, I think it was shot at the right time. Thanks in part to Pierre Buffin, otherwise the visual effects could not have been achieved. First question. I wanted to ask Gaspar Noé whether he was aware that in the uh, very traditional Cannes Festival, you're running against the tide, so to speak. Does that help you or uh, hinder you when making a film? Another point, why is the shooting so subjective at the beginning of the film and then uh, the shooting changes. There's a very simple explanation for this. The idea was to follow the viewpoint of a character who likes drugs uh, and then things don't work out very well for that person. So you're in his mind and you see the person's hallucinations. And then if you think uh, of your own memories, uh, when I think back uh, to what I've done in my life, I always have the impression that I see myself from the back. It's not a really subjective vision, it's sort of a subjective vision, but uh, not quite so. So I thought that I would like to shoot a film which deals with the perception of memory. It's like a flashback, and so I had to film things from the back. And as to the third part of the explanation, that is how you view, say, a ghost uh, flying through the sky. You imagine a, a ghost with eyes. But in the film, some of the visual effects will be further improved and uh, refined, made more sophisticated. Things will be more dreamlike. I don't think I'm going against the tide here. The Cannes Festival is so broad that all different kinds of genre are represented. I think that in Cannes, uh, the selection by Thierry Frémont is so very wide that there's room for everyone. 
on a une question là-bas, s'il vous plaît. Good evening, everybody. My, my name is Karim Kujuk, and I'm here representing the Arab Radio and Television, the ART. And my question is uh, to Mr. Gaspar Noé, the director of the movie. Sir, was it necessary for the uh, melodrama, let's say, of your film, that we have the two main characters, kind of that miserable, I mean, the, uh, the young guy is, uh, at some point, he is a, a drug dealer, and the sister is a stripper, so was it really necessary for the melodrama to have such, I, 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 I would like to, um, to describe it as a miserable, kind of miserable characters? I never thought strip teasers, uh, strippers, were really miserable, had a miserable life. I think they're great people who do uh, the job they like. It's usually the clients who have a pretty miserable life. It's just that these people are normal people and they're doing what they can to survive. Some people work at McDonald's, some people steal, some people strip. The dancing was my favorite part of making the film, so that was fun. That was the fun part. For me, these are For me, these are perfectly normal characters. Characters having a miserable uh, job. Yeah, and I'm saying that my job was fun. <laughs> On a une autre question ici, peut-être à la production, aux acteurs, n'hésitez pas. Yes, hi, I'm Nils from Norway. I hope you can answer this in English. Uh, on this festival, uh, there has been a lot of films which are um, dealing with brutal, violent, and dark subject matters, uh, such as your, your films. And um, I, I wonder, uh, when is it... Uh, correct or defendable to have strong graf graphical scenes in films? Do you think it's, can, it, can, can, can violence be philosophical and beautiful? Um, I think life is violent. I, I don't know many people who've been through a soft life from the beginning to the end. So, um, what else? Uh, Story, uh, oh, yeah. A melodrama. You said that Douglas Sirk said once to Fassbinder, to uh, to make a good melodrama, you need uh, uh, what was it? Uh, sperm, blood, and tears. So I put the three elements again in this movie. <coughs> <coughs> uh, yeah. Is there another question in the room? Any other questions in the room? Sir Iba, devant. Oui, le micro. I wanted to know in this film, which is very visual, very graphic, how did you work on the film? Did you work on it uh, in layers, so to speak? How did you enrich the film in terms of visual effects? Well, to start with, it was very difficult to describe the actual film project to, to uh, uh, people putting up the money. There wasn't much uh, screenplay. It was just an idea which was uh, uh, worked on quite quickly. The screenplay, in the end, was fleshed out. There were about 100 pages, and I went into all the details uh, of the visual effects so that uh, people with the uh, camera would know exactly what they had to do. Vincent got uh, the screenplay and uh, said, yes, we'd like to do this, and Olivier, Marc, and Pierre also got it uh, fairly uh, ahead of schedule, and they could imagine the film because I described 